question that I always get asked is, what is the difference between the jiu-jitsu scene in America and the jiu-jitsu scene in the UK? You know, everybody's always trying to measure up and see what the differences are. For me, personally, it's the wrestling, okay? There's a lot to this. It's the wrestling instruction. It's the, uh, there's just some great wrestlers in the UK, great wrestlers in Ireland and Europe, but the instruction pound for pound in the United States is, is nowhere near, okay? So our team, we've started doing a lot of hand fighting stuff to get into the front headlocks, okay? Like single legs and double legs and all that stuff. It's very, very high risk and low reward. If you don't get it, you're underneath the person and you're exhausted. And if you're in a tournament, you're already nervous as shit anyway. So being underneath somebody, especially if you're a heavyweight or a master's guy, it's just not where you want to be. So we're going to show some really, really good hand fighting stuff. Michael Pixley, Michael's a national champion in uh, America. He's a really, really good wrestler. He hadn't done hardly any shots at all. It's all from hand fighting, slide bys, all this good stuff, okay? I promise you that if you take the time to drill this stuff, that it will increase the level at your gym sevenfold huge okay it will be it's done so much for us our team is competing at the highest level and a lot of it is because of this every match starts on the feet so if you can wrestle that's great but if you can't hand fight even if you're a guard puller you should learn how to hand fight it will get you more confident and feeling less insecure before the match starts okay so he's going to show some stuff we'll get it going move you guys around sound good all right we'll get it in turn it over to my all right, guys. So what we're going to do first, partner's going to collar tie you. A lot of you guys probably make the mistake of trying to snap at the bend of his arm where he's strong. So what we're going to do, we're going to push in, get the arm straight, sliding the hand down to the wrist and the head. And I'm actually like trying to put his face into the mat, guys. I'm not snapping with my elbows out. I'm snapping with my elbows down, hand straight to the mat. So I push in, get this arm straight, slide down to the wrist and the head. And you guys can just catch your partner in the front headlock. Push in, get the arm straight, snap at the head and the roof. Uh, that'll probably be 10 of you guys asking, what if they're grabbing your head really hard? All right, you have to slide the hand down to the wrist. If I try to club him, the bend of the arm is just gonna hold on. All right, so push in, get the arm straight, and slide down to the wrist. All right, so we'll just warm up like that. You go two, your partner goes two, and then we'll switch, all right? Five, one, two, one, two. No, 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 no. Stop. We need to die. Dude, you almost... Don't push in and try to snap straight down. Try to take his eyes over his feet. So try to snap him at like a slope, all right? I've seen a couple of you just trying to push in and then snap straight down. Push in, try to take him over his feet. All right, let's try it, let's keep doing it. Oh, guys. All right, any questions on the snap down? No. All right, now we're going to get into the American football grip. It's just all the football grip, though. So partner collar ties. Same thing with the collar tie hand, guys. I'm pushing into them to create space, grabbing the wrist, thumb down, fingers on the inside of the, of the arm. So I push in, roll the wrist over my head, just like I'm brushing my hair with this hand, right? I'm not ducking it. I'm, pu I'm just rolling it. I'm just rolling it over the top of my head. As soon as I get the wrist off my head, I'm clubbing, catching the chin. So I just grab the chin with the cup of my hand. The other hand goes over the top with the collar tie, and I pinch my elbows together. So I push in, roll the wrist, club and catch. I put my chest on the back of his neck, chin on the back, and then from here, guys, I can, just can move him wherever I want because I have the control of his head. If he tries to shoot on me, I just use my elbows, and I pull him to the mat, all right? Once I hit the mat, I can start feeding my arms over the top to get to my three-quarter grip. You guys can go high elbow choke, whatever you do. So all I want, I want you guys to push in with this collar tie hand, 
Roll the wrist off your head, club and catch. Make sure you keep his head directly in the center of your chest, chest in the back of the neck. And then if you guys just want to get used to moving him from here, you guys can work on pushing and pulling him by his head, all right? I don't want you to snap into the neck. <clears throat> One more time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a really good grip, guys. There's not much you can do, and once you get the head, you pretty much control wherever you want to uh, move. So, collar top, push in, create space, roll the wrist over your head, 12, catch, chest in the back of your neck, chin on the back, move them around a little bit, and then just snap them to the back. Any questions? Anybody need to see it again? All right, let's do a clap one, two, one, two. <laughs> and you had a wrestle. All right. I want you guys just come here. I want you guys just working on pushing and getting to your snap, or pushing and getting to this. All right. You guys can just go like eighty percent, and then we're gonna troubleshoot afterwards. All right. All right. Let's go. Clap one, two, one, two. Uh, so what's the problem? Anybody have any problems? Everybody's got it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, slipping off the head. Slipping off the head? I'm trying to get back to the rest. I'm just kind of overspecialized. You want to ask him that question? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe grab lower on the head. I like to grab, go to the top of the head. Yeah. Maybe your elbow is too far up. Uh, your elbow's down? Could you do it? Look at that. Aww. <laughs> yeah, so you're like sliding it down. Try to keep your elbow where it's at. Right, so I'm thinking about horizontal line. Yeah. That's it, but just get your legs back. Yeah. Ten bucks later. <laughs> Anybody else? We good? Like sometimes when I'm, when I'm repping, like obviously, Obviously, I have to slow down a good technique, but sometimes I feel like I'm kind of like end up pushing them rather than extending. Move Is your that feet a little. Move your feet forward. Perfect. All right, guys, let me get into the next one. This time, we clear the wrist off the head. Now I'm going to inside push it this foot, but it's way back here, so I can't get to it. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I want the right leg, I'm going to circle right and pull this wrist. Now I kick the inside of the foot, snap into the football grip. So as the foot's going back, I'm pulling them into the football grip. I'm going to clear the wrist. I want the right leg, so I'm going to circle right. Kick the inside foot, right to the football grip. Guys, don't kick the foot and then wait for him to put it on the mat, and then try to snap. Do it all as he's stepping back, all right? Feel better locking your hands? Go ahead. I don't. <laughs> One more time, guys. Circle, get them to set, kick. I just feel better without them connecting. Yeah, if I connect them, they might grab my elbows and then I'm stuck. You can smash that face in the mat, too. So. Yeah, you can pull them by his chin and his head. So let's try it, guys. Clap on two. One, two. <laughs> How many you time like Pull on, push like the dude off his feet. All I'm trying to do guys, is cause him to step back. That helps. Alright, you're not trying to like sweep him off his feet. All I want to do is touch the foot so he steps it back. That way I'm snapping one leg instead of both legs. Alright, let's do a couple more and then we'll move on. Alright guys, I'm gonna show you the slide by and then you guys can get into some darkness and stuff. So partner collar ties you. I'm coming over the top of the arm, pinky in the throat, collar tying him back. From here, guys, I'm stepping in, anywhere on the outside of his foot. I'm sliding the hand from the throat to the elbow or the tricep, pointing my elbow straight up. Now I'm looking behind me and I'm gonna lift this arm up and over my head. So, partner collar ties me. Come over the arm, pinky in the throat, 
Step to the outside of the foot. Slide the hand on the throat to the elbow or the tricep, whatever you can get. It's like a hook grip, guys. So I'm cupping my hand and I'm pointing my elbow up. Step in. Now I'm pulling the arm right by my face. The biggest thing here, guys, is lifting this arm up and over while you look behind you. All right, some of you guys are gonna do this. You're gonna try to duck under it. It's not the move. Step to the outside, look behind you, pull the arm up and over. No. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. We're moving. Boom. All right, you're right on the back, pretty easy. And say, say I try to slide by and I miss it, there's no risk at all, all right? I'll be around to help you because some of you guys are gonna need some help. Clap on two, one, two. Yes, yes. Slam it. What you can jump on his back. 
Funny, but you have to drill, 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 get this stuff down. The first time you learned an arm bar wasn't that easy. Just incorporate it into your game, okay? I know it's tough now. If you just stop doing it, it won't ever work, okay? If you're a guard player, you need to know this stuff even more than the other people because you're going to give up the two against good people, okay? When you can hand fight, it just makes your game more secure, more comfortable. The snap down stuff, it was all huge. That stuff literally changed our entire team, everything about our competition success, okay? All right, so from the front headlock, okay? I have Mamad here. Guys, from your darses, okay? What is your st statistic you think on finishes when you get into a darse, okay? I don't know if there's a lot of people in here that do darse, but for me, I would do the darse and I, I wouldn't quite finish it, so then I would kind of give it up. I have really long arms too, and I would get there and it would either get on my hand or I didn't feel like I could finish them maybe half the time. And then I would get kind of tired and I would just not do it, okay? You probably do darses, right? <laughs> so, gonna have a mod come in, show a couple small details that really, really changed the game for the Dars and Couch and the, and the Anaconda real quick. See if we can get you going on those, okay? So this is the mod, he won the adult Pan Ams as a purple belt, he's a brown belt now. He's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, from here, guys, uh, we're gonna do the Dars setup from the front headlock position, you guys can use any way you guys can get to the front hand lock position, you can use the uh, thing that Pix showed you guys, which are really, really good. My favorite way is off a field double leg or single leg, so a sprawl position. So whenever we're here resting and they shoot, I like the guy to suffer here and just uh, pay for what he tried to do to him. He tried to take me down, so I'm gonna make him pay. 
So from in this position, uh, there's so many ways you guys can grab the uh, or control the front headlock position, guys. The way I like to do it, I like to grab the chin strap, and I like the uh, the same side shoulder. I like to drive my shoulder into this notch area, just like so, right here. Okay. And with the other arm, I'm pulling the tricep. So, so it's gonna look like this. Chin strap, shoulder pressure. I like to have one knee down, one knee up, no problem. And then right here, I'm pulling the tricep. This isn't trying to submit them or anything like that. This just is just a controlling position, a position where it feels pretty uncomfortable for the guy on bottom. Right, Spatch? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So right here, guys, uh, the biggest mistake a lot of people do it, for the Doris is that they try to shoot their arm through right here and try to lock it up because the Doris is bringing the arm through the armpit right here. That's the Doris. The other way is the anaconda. So when they try to do this right here, just like the anaconda, it's easier to get right here because that's how the, the mechanics are. But for the Doris, you need to cut the angle before you shoot the arm through. So when I'm in this position, guys, I like to step, drop my knee, and do a, I like to sw uh, make a switch where I'm not shooting for the darts yet, all I'm doing, guys, is grabbing the back of the neck just for a second until I can grab into my next grip, which is the bolt cutter grip, or people call it also the three-quarter grip. The w and it's gonna look just like so, okay? The way I like to grab it, a lot of people have different grips, guys. The most common grip is just, you guys all know what a gable grip is? Does anyone not know what a gable grip is? Raise your hand. Okay. I'll help you out, but a gable grip, guys, is just like so. You're pretty much just gonna high five your other hand, just like so. The way I like to do it is a modified gable grip where the, I bring my pointer finger right next to my thumb, okay? This is gonna help you give, give more dexterity wrenching that bolt cutter grip, okay? So it's just like a gable grip, guys, just bringing that pointer finger right next to the thumb. That's the only difference between a regular thumb and a gable grip and just bringing that uh, pointer finger. That's gonna have to give you more wrench into that bolt cutter, okay? So once again, guys, and this is the hardest part of the whole setup, guys. You guys can get this down, getting into the darts and finishing the darts is actually the easy part. Okay, right here, okay, we take a step, we drop the knee, I just grab the back of the neck just for a second in case he explodes up, which they will, good guys will, or girls, and then I go into my bolt cutter grip. Another mistake a lot of people do, guys, they try to wrench on the bottom of the head, lift up your head stack, no wrench on it. But if you bring it on the top, try to lift up your head. Mm -hmm. See it? See how strong it is? Because you have all this leverage on the back of his head where his, his neck is weak right here. This is where I crank his neck and bring him on his shoulder where I'm gonna shoot for the darts, okay? So it's just gonna look like this, okay? So one last thing, guys, big common mistake is people start shooting the darts or they start stopping here after wrenching. This is, bit, this is gonna lead to the guy to go flat on his back and then you're gonna be like, oh, I can't shoot for a darts. It's not working, no, he's doing it wrong. So from here, guys, he's gonna wrench, wrench, wrench onto his side, and he's still gonna try to go flat. So what I like to do, guys, I like to keep my chest heavy on his shoulder, and then I like to sink my butt down, and then wrench all at the same time. So I'm keeping my chest heavy on his shoulder, I'm keeping my butt down, and I'm wrenching on his neck, so if he tries to go back, no, he, he can actually choke himself, going to, uh, trying to go back that way. So from here, uh, is a great, great position, guys, that I like to put a lot of people in both in training and in, in the competition where I'm gonna shoot for the darts. But we're gonna stop right here, okay? So again, get into the front lock position any way you like. I like to do off a field shot attempt. Chin strap, shoulder pressure into this notch area. Pulling on the tricep. Just controlling just for a second. When I'm ready, I step, drop the knee, cut the angle, and I'm grabbing back and back. Some people say, ask me, should I keep my leg up? Doesn't matter, I, you can keep them both down right here. Just uh, no problem, guys. From here, guys, I'm immediately switching to a bolt cutter grip. I'm wrenching, trying to bring his head through the circle right here. I'm gonna wrench just like so. His head dropping into his shoulder, and I'm keeping heavy chest pressure. Wrench, 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 wrench the angle, dropping my, my butt. All these little things that I'm mentioning is why people don't get into Darcy. We can't finish Darcy, guys. So please pay attention. So right here, we're gonna stop, and then I'm gonna show you guys after how to get into Doris and how to finish it properly, okay? Any questions? No, okay. You guys wanna see it again, or are you guys good for now? Almost One more done. time? Okay. Oh, no shot, Tim. Boom. Take a step. 
Stop the knee, grab the back of the neck, full cutter, wrench, wrench, wrench. Heavy, guys, I'm saying heavy chest pressure because he's gonna try to go flat, try to go flat. I'm heavy, see, I'm sink, I'm pulling him, I'm sinking my chest to bring my butt down, I'm wrenching right here where I don't, where he, I wanna make him feel like he doesn't wanna go that way, okay? And we'll stop right there, and we'll pick it up from there, okay, guys? On two, one, two. Pull, step, drop. This also does prevent them from bringing this arm back. Okay, so try bringing it back. It is harder, but let's say if they do bring it back, it's not end of the world. I actually, all you, like if they get to come here for a single leg, sprawl, I'm back here. Okay, so it's not end of the world. So then, we'll come back to the neck, real just for a second, full cutter, top of the head, wrench, 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 staying heavy. Chest, butt stays low. I don't want him going flat, okay guys? I'm gonna keep wrenching. My goal is to bring his, his chin to his own chest, okay? From here, when I feel that I'm ready to shoot for the dars, okay? I like the, there's two ways, guys. You can push, okay? You can push down on his head and weasel the arm through, okay? For shorter arm people who are gonna be like, oh, I have short arms, what you could do is you can push down and open up your chest and then shoot it. You see how much more space I got? So I have long arms for me personally. I'm just gonna do that, okay? If you feel like you need more, an inch or two more, open up your chest, see? And then from here, guys, I let go of his head, clamp with my elbow, grab the bicep, top of the back, okay? So from here, guys, there's, you, the most common thing that you guys see the first start, people drop to their uh, hip and hook the leg. Nothing wrong with that. Me personally, I just mount them right here, okay? So from here, guys, I'm still not squeezing. It's gonna be tight, but I'm still not squeezing, guys. From here, I'm gonna bring, this is how the mechanics are gonna be, guys. A lot of people just try to rip it. And then they're gonna tap, they're gonna be like, oh, it hurts, it was a crank. And for, they're gonna try to make excuses. It was still, it was still a tap. But if you want them, want them not to make any excuses, guys, do it this way. You wanna bring elbows in, flex the biceps, and then you do one good squeeze, guys, okay? And it's gonna be pure blood choke. Yes, there will be a little bit of crank, but it's gonna be more blood choke than crank. Rather, you just rip it, it's gonna be more crank than choke, if that makes sense. So when I'm right here, guys, I'm bringing elbows together, I'm flexing the biceps, and I'm staying right here, I'm just squeezing, okay? Very, very tight choke, guys. So right here, same exact thing, guys. Shoulder pressure in, in the back of his neck, chin strap, pulling the tricep, step, drop the knee, shoot, grab his neck just for a second. Switch to the bull cutter, drop. My butt down, heavy. If he tries to go flat, I'm pulling him. Wrench, roll, push down like this. You can also do it this way, where you use your own elbow. But I just like to push it down and weasel it in, grabbing my bicep, grabbing the back. And then, as I said, some people like to do this way, okay? What I like to do, so he doesn't even run away, I just mount him, okay? If you have trouble mounting, just sprawl. But you wanna do the same mechanics. So what do you wanna do? You wanna elbow tight, elbows together tight, flex the bicep, squeeze, and then sprawl. That's how tight it is, guys. You just tap it out, you just squeeze it. But I want you to follow all those, because in a real situation when you guys are training live and you guys are in competition, they will start fighting. They will do everything they can to get out. So you need to do whatever you can to choke them out. Any questions? Yeah, sorry, can you just show the mock up like to this side? Yep. So after we break me out, okay, I like to wrench, push, open up, bicep, okay? So uh, let's say worst comes to worst, you try to go and they, they, they lift up their head, they beat you to it, no problem. I wrench them back, I go back to my bull cut and wrench them down. Do it again, okay? They do it again, like they, they explode up, they break it, wrench it, it sucks guys, trust me. Boom, as I said, you got two options. My two favorite, mount, or I do all the small uh, details where I elbows together, flex the bicep, squeeze, and I sprawl hard.
Okay. Any other questions? Guys, real quick, um, well, not the details, really, really huge here, okay? I want everybody, right where you're at, I just want you to pretend you have someone in front of you, and I want you to rear naked choke, okay? So you've got the rear naked choke. How do you finish the rear naked choke? What you don't do is lift up, okay? You don't pull them up like this. Everybody gets into the Dars and Anacondas, and they get here, well, not everybody, but a common mistake is they get here, and they grab it, and they lift up, or they, they, they pull it as hard as they can. Rear naked choke, got them? Elbows down, squeeze, engage your chest. This is what I want you to think about. <coughs> That's what he's saying, all of the finishing details. It's elbows together on these darses. If you're real strong, you can probably do this and get finishes. Against good guys, it's not gonna happen. They're not gonna tap to neck cranks in the world's finals. It's just not gonna happen, okay? You have to choke the person unconscious, okay? So, get it through, grab it, rear naked choke, guys. Squeeze the elbows and engage your chest. Get your chin up as much as you can. Engage your chest, squeeze your elbows, okay? Everybody got it? All right, let's go. Let's drill it on two, one, two. No Any questions, guys? Any questions? Wow. What's up? Can you show me? I want that. Right here, right here, right here. Oh. Under the spotlight. Uh. So when you do it, yep. could you use this arm to keep it up? Yep. If it works, it works. Yeah, you can use it. Yeah. If you look, it's working, do it. Any other questions? Everyone's getting it? Damn, I'm that good? <laughs> yeah. You sound like a teacher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, take a couch. Okay, so same position. Front headlock. Okay, Jacob is going to show the anaconda quickly. Jacob has a little detail for everyone who's getting into this. Dars anaconda, same shit. Okay, and your hand gets down in the bicep. It feels like you're crushing your hand. Like before, maybe you had them in the dars and you struggle finishing them because this is getting down, okay? He's gonna show you a little ratchet strap detail that's gonna pull that over and take that space. Just like last night, guys, with the ankle lock. Remember, you can't have any space. You gotta get that space, okay? Everyone's a little shallow. That's usually the problem. That's what makes it a crank. When it's all the way through, that's when you know it's a blood choke, okay? So you gotta get that arm in there. He'll show you. He's on. All right, guys, so put in the front headlock. Same kind of deal my move was talking about. Uh, chin strap, elbow, okay, when you guys are here, the reason you want to have the elbow uh, is to either push it to clear it, like my man was saying, to take the back, or to get the head and shoulder more narrow so you can tighten up the toe. Okay, so here, I got the chin, I got the elbow, I'm just going to take my foot and step it. I'm going to do like one step back, okay, so I'm not like moving my knees, I'm not sprawling my hips. All I'm doing is using my outside leg to circle this way, okay? What that's gonna do is gonna help me pull his elbow forward, make his head and shoulder more narrow, so it make the choke easier to get to, okay? So here, one, from here, I keep my shoulder on the back of his neck, I'm just gonna shoot my inside arm through, okay? And go palm out, so I'm shooting my arm through, I'm gonna stick the back of my hand to Mahmoud's lap, that way I can keep a tight pinch even though I only have one arm around his head and arm right now, okay? So, here, from here, I'm just gonna move my hand now from his elbow, I'm gonna move my, my bicep to my palm, okay? I'm gonna take this leg and step up and sit through. One, so I take it from back here to out here and I'm gonna use my left knee to sit through, okay? And take Mahmoud over. Okay, let's just go there for now. We'll go into the ratchet strap and how to really tighten up the choke and finish here in a second, okay? Just for now, I want you guys to work on chin strap, elbow. We're gonna use that step to get that elbow to come forward to make them a little bit more narrow. Here, I'm gonna shoot this through, okay? I shoot my hand through, so I'm not going with a, with a grip on his shoulder or a grip on his lap, I'm going palm away. Sticking my hand to it to make sure everything's tight. And I'm just gonna move my bicep to my palm. I'm gonna take my leg from back here now. I'm gonna step it up and sit through. 
Okay, to break them down and break them over, okay? Any questions? Dude. So, here. Chin, elbow, and a circle. Okay. Sticking this, I want to try to drop my shoulder. You want to get to where you can basically choke them with one arm, okay? So here, I go to my bicep, and I'm going to take this leg from back here, out, and I'm going to shoot my knee through here like I'm shooting a shot. Okay, to break them down and over. Let's just work on that for now. We'll get to the finish in a second. All good? One, two. Down, all right? We're here, chin strap. Remember, guys, you want to keep, when you guys are chin strapping, you want to use your shoulder to push into the back of his neck. So you're not just chin strapping with a high shoulder or with like a shoulder too far up on his back because then there's no pressure on his head and your chin strap is pointless. So when you chin strap, you want to like screw your shoulder into the back of his neck to make sure it stays tight and snug here, okay? So I go to the chin, I go to the elbow. Remember, all I'm doing is picking my knee up, pulling the elbow forward, and then looking in that direction. So if I have it with my right hand, I'll be looking this way, vice versa. This way, okay? So I'm not stepping, I'm not doing anything fancy. All I'm doing is picking my knee up and turning to help the elbow come forward. So here we get through. Step the leg up and out to get them broke down, okay? So a good cue or a, a good thing to keep in mind for the finish here is you never want any of your shoulder blades, to, any bit of your shoulder blades to touch the mat, okay? So completely on the side of your body. Okay, so anytime you feel yourself here, always try to readjust back to here, okay? From here, um, a lot of the times when I shoot through on people, especially people that are as good as my move, they defend really well by opening their elbows and making my palm come short of my bicep, okay? So to keep that from happening, right, I wanna take my top hand, instead of trying to just squeeze it through or just like <coughs> trying to get, you know, a, as good a pinch I can with my hand really shallow on the inside of my bicep, I wanna take my top hand, I wanna turn my thumb towards his bottom hip, okay? If I try to turn it towards his top hip to adjust, it kind of blocks my hand from going to the outside. I can't really walk my hand up. I can't really readjust too well here, okay? So I'm gonna go thumb down towards the bottom hip. I'm just gonna grab on as far on the outside of my arm as I can. That way when I start to bring this hand back now towards my face, it's already starting to choke my mood, okay? So from here, before I can even really set the choke in, it starts to choke him there, okay? So. All I'm doing here, I'm keeping everything tight, making sure my chest is stuck to the back of his head. Okay, I'm gonna go thumb down towards the bottom hip. I'm gonna grab as far on the outside of my arm as I can. I'm just gonna bring this thumb now back to my face, okay? Once I get it as far as it feels like it can go, I wanna try to walk my hand a little further. Once it gets about as far as it can go there, now I wanna try to get my chin over my wrist, okay? If you guys aren't able to necessarily walk your hand under here from the side, and it's like stuck on his lat or like you don't feel like you have the range, all you're gonna do is turn your hips up and put your chin over, okay? Just for now, let's try to keep the finish on our side. We'll go a little bit more over that last part here in a second, okay? Just for now, walk the hand up, okay? Thumb down towards the bottom hip. We're gonna grab as far on the outside of our arm as we can and bring our thumb back to our face, okay? When you guys are doing this, the biggest thing is gonna be, like Keith was talking about, you're not pulling up, okay? You're gonna bring your elbows together and round your shoulders around them, okay? Really slow, really. I'm gonna tell you. All right. <laughs> Any questions? Anybody need to see it again? No. You need to see it again? <laughs> You want to see it one more time? Right. Here, bring your elbows together. You want to see it one more time? Right. <laughs> Any questions? None? All right. One, two. That was a bad position to threaten couch. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Yeah, it was a great time to finish. Any questions? Shoulder. 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 Any questions for Jacob?
Matt. Easy as. All right. <coughs> Time we got here. All right. Then uh, let's train. Let's train. train. Cool. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mario. All right, guys. Let's grab a partner. Get in. If you got any questions, holla. Session. Yeah, picture real quick. Real quick, real quick. It's the Iranian wrestling champion. Legit. I think there's a junior world champion in Iran. And mustache of the world.
coming out or is it going to stay on? <laughs>
chili jam lettuce, like tomato? Nope. Just chili jam, no salad. Oh no, I don't know. What do they call it? Rabbit. Bacon. Rabbit food. That's rabbit food. Yeah, look at me, don't know. That's how I eat them. Well, not me. I gotta keep side control with this stuff. <laughs> I don't get there very often. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
Big smile, big smile. I know how traumatized, but he's gonna make some awful burgers now. Alright guys, keep moving on here, one left fast is gonna be down. Alright, I want you to do, we're gonna enter here to get into this position, okay? So we're gonna to step to get into the headquarters or combat stance. I want you guys to grab the outside of the pants here, and I want you to make sure that you put your knuckles on the outside here, okay? So I'm here, I don't wanna push like this because then it's gonna be my shoulder doing all the work. I'm gonna turn it so it's my knuckle pushing so I can use my bicep, my forearm, my back, etc. On this side, I want you to pull spatch up. Instead of doing a normal Toriando like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick them up until your elbow touches your belt, okay? So once I'm here, it'll be much easier for me to spin him and you should be able to whack their head on your shin, okay? So I'm in here, you're gonna pick them up and you're gonna spin, okay? It should be really, really, really easy, okay? So we're here, pick them up. Spin them, okay? Whoa. So guys, it's just like a top. I'm picking them up enough so it's like you're spinning a top, okay? So putting pressure on the outside here, pick them up just enough, move the leg, spin them just to get warmed up, all right? So not this one, okay? Not that. Up, spin, okay? Everybody got it? All right, get warmed up, let's go. Rondo, kind of, but it kicks back. What we're gonna do now is I want you to keep your knees where they are, okay? So we're gonna lift them up. I'm gonna pinch this, okay? Whether it be from here or from here. We can even do it from butterfly girl, okay? We can pin them up, either one you guys want. So, which one do you want? That side, I'll have this one. This one? Thanks. Yeah. Okay, Thanks. so from here, guys, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pick him up just the same. I'm gonna try to take him under, and he's going to start to attach to my legs, grab my ankles or whatever, okay? So. From here, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to squeeze, pinch our knees together. Instead of kicking back like this, we're just gonna windshield wiper over. So I'm gonna turn my knee in, keep it here. Sorry. I'm gonna turn my knee in, and I'm gonna go up, over. And then we're gonna put this into a leg drag, okay? So keep your knee here though. Pinch, pinch, up, over, step, okay? Anytime you're in there, like that, in the pocket, we're here, he's grabbing, pushing me back. Okay, pinch the knee, up, over, clear the leg into the drag. From here, guys, you're just gonna penetrate with the knee down or here, okay? So without spatch, we're here, I'm gonna pinch, up, pass, okay? Everybody got it, pretty easy? Pinch the knees, guys. Pinch the knees. All right, let's go. Okay, now we should go to butterfly. Okay? So, I'm out here. We shake hands. Okay? We start going. Push him down. He grabs me. Okay, I'm going to get my feet on the outside, and we're in a butterfly guard. Guys, my kneecaps and the insides of my knees are what is going to do the passing. So, here. Here. That was a big-ass seagull. <laughs> okay, so I'm turning this in, guys. Look, my, my inside of my knee's jobs are pushing his heel to the opposite butt cheek. So when we're here, I want his heels on his butt, okay? They shouldn't be able to lift you up here. If I'm up here, he can lift me up, okay? If I am here, pushing down, putting their heel on their butt, it's like if the leg press crushed you and it had went too far and you couldn't push it up anymore and you were embarrassed in front of your friends and then you went viral and all that you stuff. You that happened to me? That's what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're here, guys. I'm gonna dig this in. If Spash gets one of his legs out, okay, I can't let him through the middle either. Okay, we have to be pushing, pinching. Now I'm gonna start turning. So guys, look, my knees are coming on the outside of his leg, inside. So you're fighting to get over these shins, okay? Whether I turn it in, we're over, okay? If it gets stuck, turn the other side, in, over. This is how you should be passing. You should be able to stay in your stance for 20 minutes 
and be going over the legs. If you start to get lifted up, okay, that's because you're not putting enough pressure down, okay? It should almost hurt their knees, like their meniscus, okay? I'm driving this down. So I want you to get into this position. Now I want you to start digging. So I'm gonna go over, and I'm gonna feed this ankle over this knee. Over, over. Heel the butt, pass, okay? Now the opposite side, over, 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 pass. And you can do the first one, okay? Over, pass, make sense? Let's turn this way for the children. <coughs> okay, so guys, what's wrong with this? Too far forward. Good. It's like my nose over my toes isn't good, and his heels have to be on his butt, okay? Here, even if he grabs my legs, it's gonna sweep me back. What's gonna keep me up is dragging my knees in, okay? I can't let him shift through the middle. Remember the sweep we did yesterday. So I have to be pinching if he tries to go through the middle, okay? Go through the middle? No. Okay, look, boom, here. Get the shin over the shin. That's how you're passing. If you wanna get around the inside, shin over, open it up, there it is, okay? Push this to the chest, get the knees turning, shins turning, it's like salsa dancing, okay? Here, here, probably better than that, right? Okay. One, two, pass. Everybody got it? So they're like little shovels, and I want you digging, 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 trying to dig over their shins the whole time. When Spatch and I go, I put him down, and I'm here, immediately. Okay, I'm putting the pressure on. Okay, you're past the red. <laughs> okay, so turn, okay, digging in, right? Everybody got it? Any questions? All right, let's get it. Let's see it. Shoot. All right. So when you hit that, oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm not going to It's in the first one, the leg you're kicking over if he um, grabs your ankle. Okay, perfect. If you got any solutions. Okay, to... so we're here. From the butterfly guard or the second? No, from the first one. Okay, so we're going to do a little drill here. You're warmed up, okay? You can do this with the leg in or with it out, either one. Okay, we'll do it with it in since we're already there. What you're going to do is they're going to grab the ankle. They're going to do daily heba hook, short hook, okay? So they put it up on here. We have to remove this. This is a problem. If I let go here or I let go here, that could be a problem for me. He can bear and bowl me. He can knock me over. He can do whatever awesome shit. I see some shit going on in there. <laughs> Okay, so guys, I have to get this, I have to get this out, okay? So I'm gonna put pressure with this towards his face, and I have to get this foot off. The way I'm gonna get it off is with this leg, okay? Anytime anyone grabs on that side, I know that if I can get his hip on top of his arm, that it's stapled, okay? If I can just get this pressure there, his arm would be trapped. So here's how we're gonna get this off, okay? If I don't like this, go ahead and put it in. We're going to kick it off, okay? This works the same from De La Hiva from here. If I'm out here pressuring in, go ahead, De La Hiva me. Okay, from here, I'm going to try to leg drag this. I'm going to kick this off and take this over, okay? But in this situation here, this is it. Person grabs it, I can't let them through the middle. So my knees have to be pinching. So guys, I'm making a wall behind his legs here, okay? I can't let him lift me up. So, do you have a heave hook? Okay, we're going to kick it off. Okay, go ahead, do you have a heave hook? Okay, kick it off. When you kick it off, guys, now we're gonna turn the knee out and we're going to penetrate our leg down here. Do you have a heave hook? Okay, kick it off. Come in to pressure here. Okay, guys. Um, do me a favor, guys. Come, come on this side. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so, guys, from here, we're going to do like a little body lock pass. And I'll go back over the steps to get down there. But what I want you to do is I want you to take your thumb and you're going to take it around their head here. Okay? Here. Palm down. Here. So I'm going to take my thumb and take it down. I'm going to lock my hand. So look at my shoulder. My shoulder is going to drop all the way down to his chest until I can feel my bicep touch his forearm, okay? Then I'm gonna try to basically pop his back here. 
with the pressure. Then I'm going to squeeze my knees, and we're going to pass. Okay, or you can just choke them out. I lost it as long as it's good. You did good. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> let me use one of these yeah. crazies here. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. All right, so you guys can do the kickoff drill. Do it with. Uh, no, you didn't bring a D, I see. <laughs> okay, so guys, you can do this from two places here. One, let's do it from the inside first, okay? This one, because that's where you asked from. They grab, we're here. Okay, we're here and here. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kick this off. Okay, here, kick it off. When we kick it off, I'm gonna penetrate. So kick it off, penetrate here. Close the knee, down. We're gonna come around the head here and lock the hands, squeeze. They're gonna be pushing you or whatever. I'm gonna drop my shoulder down. Then we're gonna go and put all our pressure on top of our hands to pop his back here. Okay. You good? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna let go. Just pretend there's all that pressure on, okay? Keep the pressure on here. Pinch your knees. And now the same thing you did in the beginning, we're gonna start crawling up to pass. Okay, if you get good enough to pressure, you can just choke them out from there, okay? So, get you ready for your Mamad match. Okay, we're here, guys. As soon as it's on there, that's a different one. Okay, as soon as it's on here, guys, we're gonna kick this off. By kicking it off, it's gonna open up his hip so we can flatten it. I'm thinking about kicking his leg over the arm. Understand? The leg is gonna go over the arm. So I'm here, knees in. Kick this off, penetrate. Put the knee down. See, he wanted to take his arm out, okay? Come down, around, grab. Don't just go here. Drive your shoulder into the chest, guys, here. Okay, all the way down here. Then we're gonna squeeze and we're gonna go up. Okay, so I'm here. Look at my shoulders, down. Now I'm gonna pull him tight and I'm gonna put the pressure on here. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> get him again, get him again. Okay, so I'm here. Put it down, put the pressure on. Guys, now squeeze the knees together. And we're gonna start climbing, climbing, climbing. And you can come right to the mount, or you can pass and you can finish the choke as well, okay? Just the penetration step one more time. We're here, he puts it in, kick it off. Try to put it back next time. Kick it off, penetrate. Come around, look, I'm on top, my chest is on top. Come around, grab if they start pushing your face or get their arm in, you gotta be tough, go ahead. And turn here, we're gonna pinch our knees and start climbing, okay? <coughs> Everybody got it? Step, I'll show you without couch, okay? It's in here, kick it off, kick it off, okay? Kick, penetrate, down, it's across. Over the head, grab the arms, grab the hands, shoulder down, like I'm dislocating my shoulder here, then forward, pinching my knees, then we're gonna climb, okay? Everybody got it? All right, let's go. Good shit. Okay, so <clears throat> it's just a blood choke, man. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so guys, when we're here, look, I want to keep this leg in for this one. I'm glad that this leg is in, okay, and that this is almost a little sloppy because when he, Dilhiva, grab the ankle, I want to get his leg trapped on top of his hand, it hurts, okay? So when I kick this off, I'm gonna kick and my body weight, it's like I'm almost pushing it underneath my stomach, okay? So I'm gonna kick and put this underneath my, why'd you let go? Because it hurts. Okay, so that, <laughs> their arm is trapped underneath there. So let's say that he gets it out this time, okay? So I'm gonna come and I'm gonna body lock. I don't have a really good one though, he's really strong or maybe he's a bigger guy and he's gonna start pushing and framing on my, on my throat. Okay, so from here I can't come down. Okay, get your arm out, this arm. 
Okay. So go ahead and frame. So I can't get to my good body lock grip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze my elbows and I'm gonna push into this, okay? I'm trying to get these out, even putting my knees together. Since he's framing, it's hard. So here's all we're gonna do. We're gonna knee cut over the top, okay? So he's pushing me away. I'm gonna pop this up and knee cut over the top. Okay, any time that the knee is across, guys, for you, any time it's crossing my stomach, you can knee cut over the top, okay? So I'm here, he's starting to get his leg back, he's almost lifting me up. Guys, I'm pinching, I'm having trouble, he's pushing me away with the frame, so I'm gonna pop this leg up, okay? Whatever elbow is sticking out, that's the leg you pop up, okay guys? I'm gonna pop it up, and I'm just gonna go knee cut over his hip, over his stomach, because we have the underhook. Then here we're gonna finish, okay? So the only thing that you're doing different is knee cutting, okay? All right, one more time. And then here, he grabs the ankle. We're here, squash that. Get here, he starts to lift me back up. Pushing me, I can't get to here. I'm trying to squeeze my knees, I can't. Leg's gonna come up. One, two, it's really, really simple, okay? Then you have the underhook here, guys. Stay high and lift the elbow up to pass, okay? Everybody got it? Okay, add that in. So, De La Hiva, he's gonna keep the foot on the hip. This is where most people are gonna go to De La Hiva from. They're gonna have a foot on your hip because he's gonna raise his hips and start to do all that fancy stuff all these kids with big fancy belts like this do, okay? So, from here, here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna grab, we're gonna do the same thing. Slow motion, I'm gonna kick this off and we're gonna reach across as we're kicking. Okay, put it back on me. Okay, I'm gonna grab, and while you're kicking it off, so it's gonna be kick, and I want you to drag this leg across, okay? So it's a timing thing I want you to work on. So I'm pushing this down, okay? I want you to kick and drag this off. Drag here. Now, Mamad's A, the leg goes on top. So he's probably not gonna keep this. He's probably gonna let go and shrimp, okay? So at first it's gonna feel funky, okay? So there it is, they're gonna to start to push you away. Guys, to get this off anytime, if you don't like it, I don't wanna let go of my grips. If I let go of my grips and I start to do this, this is gonna cause problems, okay? So I wanna just use my legs, kick it off. If I kick it hard enough, it turns his hips over. So watch, naturally, if I kick this off, it turns his hips, okay? So they grab, kick it off. No matter where you're at, if they ever grab it, even if you don't have grips, you hear? Just get it off, okay? Don't reach back. This is dangerous. He can lift me with this. He can go underneath me with this. So I want to kick this off. Okay, do it again. If you miss it, it's okay. Miss it all the time. If you accidentally step on it, that's okay. It's just Mulan. Okay, so we're gonna take this across. Pressure, one, drag. After we drag, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna penetrate. Okay, try to keep your body on top of his leg so he can't shrimp to get back to the guard. Okay. Come in, here and here, there it is. Kick, drag. Once you guys get that, kick, drag with the other hand, okay? Kick, drag. I'm actually surprised how hard this is with my eye patch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, kick, drag. Okay, take this leg up and <coughs> over like a shelf. Okay, I don't wanna hurt this. And you're gonna put this here, leg drag, okay? Just go slow. If you miss or you fumble, it's okay. No worries. Kick, drag, and then try to switch hands. Kick, drag, okay? It's gonna save you a lot of time, and it also is gonna keep your hands free to do what you want them to do while you get it off, because it's a threat, and you need to deal with it, okay? So if you're on bottom, foot on the hip, de la hiva, top, kick it off, drag it by, or just kick it off or whatever, okay? All right, let's get it. It's there, kick it. Okay, can I have one of the, your work, I'm not going to squeeze you. Thank you. Oh, okay, not really. I like that one. Okay, so we're here guys. Okay, so he's put the De La Hiva hook in, okay, and we've kicked it off, okay. But I haven't been able to drag this across, so you have to work on that. But any time, regardless, when this comes on, okay, get it off. It shouldn't be there, it doesn't need to be there. You don't need to touch it. You just need to put on pressure 
if I don't deal with this, he's going to start reaching, and this is a problem, okay? And another thing, guys, when you're here and he grabs my collar and I'm trying to break this, okay? This is help holding him pull, okay? So if I'm trying to break this grip, go ahead, okay? I can kick this off and it helps me break this off, okay? What I can't do is let him pull me, lift me, get here, and then try to get it off, okay? So immediately get it off. So we're gonna step in, go ahead, do what you do. Okay, I'm here, I'm gonna kick this and it's gonna get in the middle. So we're gonna just kick and it's gonna end up right here. Is this happening to a lot of you guys? It's kinda getting stuck, right? So you're having trouble, take it across. This is even better, okay? So I'm here, I'm gonna kick this off and as soon as it's here, guys, my knee's gonna come down, my hand is gonna go from here to underneath and we're gonna knee cut. My knee's gonna come down and straight across. See where this purple belt is? That's where I want your knee to go. I want your knee to touch their belt. The hand's gonna go down. We're gonna cut and slap the mat. Okay? So not this one. Not that knee cut. Okay? Here, under hook. Slow motion. One, same time. This goes down. Two, Three. You gotta slap the mat, okay? It's very, very important. So we're here, we're here. Kick it off, it's back in the middle. His hips are facing this direction. If their hips are facing this direction, that's when we wanna mislead the hips and go this way. I'm here, cut. Okay, one more time. I'm here, kick it off. It's in the middle, he grabs my butt, open it up. Underhook, cut, okay? Go flat, I'm just trying not to smash his little face. Thank right. you. <laughs> Any questions? So that will give you guys three or four options from there. Kick that off, smash pass, smash the leg. You can still sit him up, deal with him. There's a lot of good, good options from there for you guys, okay? So let's do this one. Kick it off, get it back in the middle, knee cut. Everybody got it? Mm -hmm. All right, tight knee cuts, guys. Get your knees as close to their hip as you can, understand? I don't want you cutting out, okay? The biggest misguidance, I think, and coaches and people teaching people to knee cut is they think they're cutting out. You're not knee cutting out. It shouldn't even be called that, okay? Knee down. Your knee should go straight down to the ground. Here. Not out. There's no out. Even if they grab your foot, it doesn't matter. Knee cut straight down, okay? When I'm down, smash the mat and I'm here. Knee cut straight down. Everybody got it? All right, let's get it. Wait. Especially for young and evolved guards, you know, where they're, so, what do you think I'm talking about you? No. No, go ahead, go ahead. Uh. Okay, so, scratch is gonna go on his back. And everybody's got that young kid that pulls their knees to their head. Is that my hand? Yeah, he's crazy good. Uh, he's a wild man. His knees are gonna go to the head, and he's gonna have his legs way up here moving around. Yeah, you know, doing all that. They grab their legs. You know, it just pisses you off secretly, okay? So getting in here, getting around them sometimes can be hard. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to take this knee, and I'm gonna put this knee here, okay? So I'm gonna push the legs. Here's what we're gonna do. This is the motion we're gonna make. Does everybody see that? So I'm reaching four fingers in the pants, completely legal in every tournament except for AGF, AJF, okay? Or what is it? AJP. AJP, AJP, AJP sorry. Right. Okay, so the fingers can go in the pants. IBGGF, everything, you can stack the people like that. So, in the pants, okay? This is gonna be my shield. It's gonna block that leg and I'm gonna go to the opposite leg. So we're gonna come here and my knee, I'm just gonna do like a, Football slide. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Tackle? Good time, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I would have said baseball if we were in America, but. Bad now, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're here. Okay, I'm gonna come here. So, guys, look, I'm behind this. This is very simple. I know it looks fancy. I'm in the pants. Look. Alright. See that? I'm inside of his pants. This knee is pushing through, but my foot is behind his leg. I can't let this foot out. Now this left hand is gonna come around and we're gonna grab the collar, okay? Spatch might try to put me in a Kimura. He cannot. 
really get up and really try. All right. Okay. If this was to happen, we would just sit up and easily take the bath. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm here. I'm gonna push one. Okay. I'm far enough away to where he can't grab my sleeves. <laughs> so I'm here. One. Okay. This is gonna come to the opposite leg. This is gonna come here, and my knee is gonna come in. Okay. Here, here, and I want you to do them all at once. Once this lands, I want you to drive this through. And then this hand is gonna come around his leg, and it's high up onto the lapel of the king. Okay. Now I'm going to come up, put this down. Spatch is going to try to run away with his hips, but we have them here. Okay, so I can just keep him. Okay, this is all I want you to do for now, okay? So one more time, I'm here, I'm going to pass, I'm going to push in the pants. Guys, if you miss it, just grab the pants. Come up and around, grab whatever you can. If you can't get anything or it's no gi, just grab the hip, come up to here, okay? One more time, hands on the feet. Leg is going to penetrate through here, okay? For you older ladies and gentlemen, okay? You're just going to come here, here. So with that spatch, on here, here. Okay, down, <coughs> here, here. All right, come around, grab this. Keep this. Spatch tries to shrimp. I have this so I can pull myself closer and closer. Okay. Everybody got it? Any questions? Put your feet, hands on their feet, push their knees back. Remember, they're doing this. Come up, Spatch. This guy. Here. Okay, from here, guys, look how limited I am. Once this comes around and grabs my collar, I'm passed. <laughs> okay. Everybody got it? Had a lot of success with this, and it works really, really good on young, good guards. Can't right. see. Okay? All right, let's go, guys. Okay, so same thing, Jacob's on his back. Okay, he's showing off, he's real flexible, yeah, moving his legs around, pissing us all off. Okay, so I push, I get him in their pants, okay? So, guys, look at my leg on the outside. I'm <coughs> driving my knee in and lifting this up. Jacob's gonna try to get his leg out. That's how he's gonna try to escape. He's gonna try to make space, okay? That's why we get up in here and start dragging this, okay? So I'm gonna start pulling myself in, okay? And we wanna come underneath this arm. So from here, guys, we're gonna come in, I'm gonna come around and we're gonna grab our own gi for the Ezekiel, okay? So grab the gi, then we're gonna come around to finish. So guys, you can come all the way to the side here and you can punch, or from here, you can just put the knee down, okay? And you can pull them on top of you here to chase the back, or from there, just go over Okay, so once you're here, guys, look, I'm gonna let him out. Okay, you're back. Okay, I'm good. Just go. Uh, it's a really, really strong position, okay, guys? <laughs> <laughs> One more time. I want you to do it from the beginning, okay? Here. Here. Come up. Get inside the column. Immediately go get it. Go get the Ezekiel here. As soon as you have it, punch it in the throat. Let's sit the knee here. Okay? And now it's up to you. Whether you want to look for the mount, <coughs> you want to look for the back. Okay, if you want to get the mount, go ahead, Jacob. This one. You're just gonna come here. You want to get the back? Okay, you're gonna pull them over and put the hips in here. Okay, and if you want to just shove, okay. The guys, help you move. Okay, then I'm just going to finish him from here. 
Okay, don't let your wrist bend. Keep it here, I don't care what grip you use. I think tons of people have tons of different grips. Whatever one makes you win, okay? Okay, so uh, all you're doing guys after you did that pass, I was thinking about all the ways I would like to tap you out. <laughs> okay, so I'm here, grabbing me Ezekiel, here. Okay, and then taking my elbow up and in. Make sure you use your head on the outside of his arm. If his arm starts to escape, if this happens, guys, just keep your head lower, and then we're gonna put it back with this, okay? Also, you could just let go and just be inside control of mouth, okay? It's up to you. Everybody got it? All right, let's hit it. No questions at all, nothing? Uh, one, I have some question for the Ezekiel. I'm such a million this. I have some question, uh, some details. Uh, <laughs> details on the finish? Yeah, because I, so I'm really bad at this. Maybe you have some. Are you having details. trouble finishing it? Yeah, I have a problem. Can I see? Oh, of course. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> Come on, I can't. <laughs> Let me, let's use spatch. I like for him to get chill. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. From the top. Okay, push him back. Push over bigger than. Yeah, in the beginning. <laughs> Check with my mallet. What? So go ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, grab the, grab the Ezekiel. You grab, so you make a fist, huh? Yep, and now, as you're going to punch it, okay, to finish, I want you for this one, I want you to bring your hips all the way around so your head is pointing this way. And I want you to pick him up off the ground with your feet, like deadlift him. Pick him up off the ground. Cool. Yeah. Just kidding, that's a mean one now. <laughs> yeah, so it's all angles, okay? Once we're here, once we're here, okay? And I get this in and I grab. Guys, it's all the angle. If I want to take the back, I would drop my knee below his back here, like as far underneath it as I can, okay? So I'm gonna put my knee in his back and roll. Okay, and that's how I'm gonna take the back, okay? If I want to just finish or come to mount, okay, I would come here. I would grab, and guys, you're gonna get the angle here to finish, okay? So just think about it like this. Take your elbow and drop your elbow <coughs> down, okay? As far as I can get the elbow down, then this can come in here, okay? So down, down. And obviously you wanna punch this in as much as you can. The thing is, the reason it makes it good is it's a great grip to move into the positions you wanna move. Remember, from the beginning, this was just a pass. So we were trying to just pass the guard. Now we're going for the kill, from passing the guard. So if worse comes to worst, if I get here and I can't finish the Ezekiel, okay, so if I get here and he, say he drops his elbow and this happens, it's okay. I'm just gonna finish passing the guard, right? I would just come here and we'll pass, all right? Make sense? Okay, thank you, brother. Any other questions? All right. Grab a drink real quick, guys. I guess we can get some training in it. Eh? All right, let's go.
to go with a friend. I told him, I'm going to go with a friend. I got a feeling that that day in the seminar. And then right after that, that's what I did. That morning, it was like, it was the past day.
He brought these all the way from Kazakhstan. Chocolate? Yeah, this one. Where are you from? Tell her. Uh, I'm from Kazakhstan, Almaty. I train uh, fight club. Yeah. You came all the way from Kazakhstan? Uh, to be honest, I'm doing short rotation in uh, London, but once I see this advertisement about seminar, I say, no way I'm coming here. Thank what, you very much. What makes these ones so special? Oh, it's like They're a, just the best? The best uh, chocolate in Kazakhstan, everybody like a gift, as a gift for like a foreigner. Uh, yeah. You love it. Definitely. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. I couldn't bring horse meat and horse meat, <laughs> otherwise I would do it. If you, no. one, day, you, one day, if you want to try to come to Kazakhstan, please, please. let us know. Hospitality is very good. I'd love to. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. No doubt. Thanks. Do you mind if I take a picture of you? Yeah, please, please. Does the chocolate make you stronger? <laughs> I'm gonna eat all those when he's not looking. Yeah. <laughs> She's fucking weak. By the end of this uh, trip, like, you can have wrists. Uh, My wrists are Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Couches, ankles. The rest of your body would be normal. It's massive. Look at how small they are. You could wrap, yeah. <laughs> you could probably do that on my ankle, too. Yeah, just. Do so you touch your yeah, fingers?
That's cute. Two minutes. Just stand over there. One minute. 
Is it a beat yet? Oh, yeah. No, one more minute. Okay. Yeah, you can you can keep stalling. I just told you to. Yeah. All right, last you minute. Keep stalling. You can stay there. Put my ass in your face. I like ass. That's yeah. Cool. I'm an ass. I'm an ass. I'm an ass. I'm an ass. He's saying weird shit. Oh, stop. Spatch, why'd you stop coaching? Spatch, why'd you stop coaching? Why'd you stop coaching, Spatch? Why'd you stop coaching? She's like dragon. Yeah, <laughs> 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 